9 a.m. The teams have eight and a half hours until they're back in the boardroom with Lord Wolf. They'll need to brainstorm, create prototypes, and produce a press campaign for their remedy to counteract seasonal affective disorder. Just having the glasses is that I think a lot of people may come up with a similar idea to this, and you want to take it one step further than other people to stand out. If it's, if it's subtle enough that you don't look stupid wearing them, you know I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't, we don't mean like having big glasses with a clunky side, yeah, which has like. <laughs> yes, we'd be working more on this connection of the two glasses. Mm -hmm. Do you like like the kind of like three D ones better, or like the more simplified one that's just flat? I like the three D. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. I thought you were saying you have to sort of like pop one lens out and put another in now. You say you can't, it just be done by just saying different filters. It's gonna cost a butt though. Yeah, I don't know how much so Google Glass costs, but Google Glass can do it. Basically, you can put anything on the screen nowadays. Yeah. On your on the lens of glasses, so I don't think they need to be physical things. Yeah, they're, they're actually really good at folding. That's like so you could make the glass well, this sort of stuff. Main points, yeah, just like the togetherness. Push that a little bit further. Yeah, I felt like that actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that bit. Like, like sort of the outside of the glasses, and then the yellow and like the middle bit is. Yeah. Oh, so to, like flip it around. Yeah, flip it around. Yeah. Oh my god, 
It's the afternoon. All four teams have opted to shoot a promotional video for their products. Team 2020 are taking footage in the studio. Stuff in a row, look really cool. Yeah, each person on this episode. Meanwhile, Joe's and Team Vision has left the studio to shoot some of their promotional video in the meadows. Trying to take videos of clouds, the weather is not ideal. Five o'clock. With half an hour to go, the teams are feeling the pressure of the time limit. The teams are all in studio adding the finishing touches to their pitches. So our response to sleeping problems was 
the adult consciousness to keep you awake, alert and being for between five and seven days. And the physical symptoms of SAD we also wanted to address because lots of people think it's just in the mind, but that anxiety causes joint problems and stomach pains. So we added a dash of flexi just to listen you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am very impressed with the fact that you haven't designed a pair of glasses. Uh, you've taken the brief and you've, you've gone sideways, which is in some ways good, in some ways frustrating. I started off being annoyed by that, but actually you turned into quite a clever solution. Um, so, good marks for that. Um, your advertising is probably a bit weak. I'm not seeing much advertising here, but otherwise, well done. Thank you. They're showing quite a broad spread of skills as copywriting. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Spelling mistakes yeah. on the back of the packet. I didn't yeah. notice that, but well spotted. <laughs> um, the other thing that I have a bit of a problem with presentation wise is uh, he tended to read the words off the back, but generally I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I like the band name, but food also is strong. Um, 
both teams so far have not listened to the brief. I asked them to do a press campaign, and they've both done a video campaign. Yeah. Okay. So that's an interesting little. Um, it was I was expecting to see press ads. Yeah, I think the videos are letting both teams down. Big time. Yeah, it's almost uh, better without it. Yeah. into the effects of SAD, around 2 million in the UK have it. Yeah, the most common uh, therapy is light therapy, so we thought the best idea was to kind of improve your moods um, by improving your outlook and at the same time improving how you feel. Um, when we initially looked at the brief and sort of thought of playing the idea of rose tinted glasses, so seeing everything slightly better, um, and when we were discussing uh, last night and this morning, we were talking about how there's an Instagram culture and how there's um, a lot of filters being put on things and that can sometimes make memories seem sweeter and um, you, you look back on things better. We wanted to create a live version of that. Like Instagram and selfie culture is like very big right now. So vanity is very important to people at the moment. Uh, so we wanted our product to increase people's self-esteem and that was the main focus of our product. So at first we looked at Swedish goggles because the yellow lens itself boosts the amount of light that goes into your sort of vision. So at first we thought that works in with the filters film, so we added that in, but then we thought the yellow isn't really can be aesthetically pleasing and it could be quite garish to look at. So then we started thinking about tinted windows and sort of looking at it as a sort of two-way mirror concept, having from the outside, if someone looks at you, you have this nice sort of very classy black when you look out, you have this sort of enabled vision that boosts your sunlight quality. But then to also bring in melatonin along the frames, we were wanting to build in UV lights. So we can have a poster campaign involving celebrities. So it's about who you aspire to be. So all these people are made to look more attractive. Um, we can be happy with the sunglasses on. Um, it's also, you can personalise them. So, in different styles, mm -hmm. so you can have them to see you to make you look more attractive. Can you explain Transadia glasses? Transendia. We run into some of the sounded brands and they say... Uh, transcends the wind, so yeah. you, go, you go into next summer, transcend it, just skip out the winds completely. 2020, thank you. Uh, Andy, did you enjoy yourselves? We did. We had a technical issue right at the end. What was the technical issue? Um, the computer crashed and we lost uh, our video out there. Um, okay, well, the beat didn't include a video, so don't worry about that. That's yeah. not a problem. Um, thank you very much for making the presentation. We'll call you back in later. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Explaining it rather than showing us it. Yeah. But actually, the core idea of on the bright side is actually a really nice little line. Yeah. I also like the idea that there is an awareness as well as the most easy thing. The fact that we're trying to add into the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. What was the thing? Transedia or trans 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 Transedia? Mm. There was actually, was that it? name wasn't there the last time that I saw their thing, so mm. I would assume that when they lost the file, they had to Transedia, Transedia. change some things. Yeah. Simple consumer facing idea yeah. on these things, and it was a little bit too educational in explaining where it all came from mm -hmm. rather than showing the stuff. Mm -hmm. But they found a focus within, you know, they decided to concentrate on self esteem, <laughs> whereas some of the groups might have been quite bold and trying to do something that encompassed everything. They just they were brave enough to choose one route, yeah. and then yeah. I advise. <laughs> Matilda, Hannah, Lolo, we are Team Vision and we have created an app called Enhance. Now I'm going to show you a video mm -hmm. that explains our app.
So our wireless glasses, modelled by Oliver, um, have built-in projectors uh, that connected to the down downloadable app on your phone um, will allow you to adjust your filter settings on your glasses. Um, a big aspect of the experience is that it is allowing you to connect with other users. Um, something we felt was really important with SADs is that they're not on their own. Um, a lot of people hide it, but we wanted something that people could share with each other. Um, so the idea is your initial menu will give you options of preset filters. Those are things like um, giving what would be a drag gray every day, perhaps a boost in sunlight. So can you explain, if I work on this and I've got these glasses on, this changes what I see to my yeah, glasses? Yeah, the Bluetooth connection. Okay. They would actually adjust. Thank you. At the minute, we see this app purely geared towards people who suffer with SAD, but we see no reason why we can't appeal to a wider target audience and deliver it to people who want to, say, share their vision filters on Instagram. Um, as you can see on the design sheet here, the projector is actually quite subtle, so no one like who is looking at you would be able to see that you're wearing actually different glasses. In terms of marketing, we've created three different posters which outline the um, key filters that are available on the app, and we hope to display these in on both large scale on billboards and up bus stops, and also um, in magazines that are relevant to the target audience. We also considered a um, celebrity endorsement and we looked at using Steve <coughs> Fry um, to support our brand because he himself has struggled through depression and is now um, really involved in awareness for depression and related disease. Good. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Clever the way that rather than just observing something culturally about our age, we've combined phones with the glasses with something that so many people have access to. So, team focus. Rebecca's team. One of the things that we liked particularly about yours was the way that you inferred from the brief. We also like the fact that you consider the sociability um, within it, within your product, the idea that it might be shared, it might link people together. Team Focus, I think the thing that let you down was the fact that you read off cards. Your, the way that you delivered your presentation wasn't particularly believable. If you, believe, if you created it and you believe it, you should be able to speak to it naturally without referring to words. In terms of reading off the cards, it was a case of not giving ourselves enough time to go through our points clearly and really understanding um, the main key features of our um, product. Um, second was Happy Gals and project manager was Ruby. Ruby, the thing we really liked about your team was the way that you managed them and the fact that you took the time to figure out what you were going to focus on throughout the day and we put the soul of an idea. Whereas you managed to put time into making the packaging look incredibly strong, rather than making a video, you could have put some time into thinking about when and how this would be launched in terms of the press. So Happy Girls, how did you feel it went? We really enjoyed it, actually. We had a lot of fun. We wanted to make it like a fun sort of brand. And I think definitely I understand what you're saying. We wanted to pitch it to students, so we focused like, all our energy on making the product look good enough. Yeah, the product, the product was good, the packaging was good, the camera <coughs> wasn't good. Third team is 2020. Andy, um, you have technical problems. Understandable, it does happen, but uh, you need to have a plan to be up sleep. Um, we were impressed, right with though, uh, with the fact that even though you did have technical issues, you had this strong tagline of look on the bright side, we felt like you considered the words. Um, the main thing that let you down was the fact that you started your presentation so, so negatively. I think you always need to start a presentation in a good light and make, make us know that you've had a good time doing it. Um, and again, your presentation skills were just too weak. So I think the message, the message to all of you on something like this is think about the lack of time you've got. A really good idea is worth spending a long time on. Polishing it isn't.
um, especially as a video wasn't that small. So that was a little waste of time. Vision, uh, Jules. Vision, what you, what you showed us was very, very technically strong and we were really impressed with the level of ability within your group. The app was beautifully finished, but I think perhaps your pride in it meant that you spent a little too much time explaining how it worked. We all obviously use phones and we do get a good gist of how things work and why they're there. Team, would you agree with those comments? Not 100%. I think that the app was the strongest part of it and it needed to be explained so that you guys could fully understand where we were coming from with the whole social aspect of it. Good, good design is simple um, and technical deliberative design needs to be very quick and compelling. Cocktails in the Bar, Cocktail Bar, 14 Vision. 